On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out the mag of holding on the new aftermarket part for the M16, the Jack Patriot, which turns this from a three round burst to a fully automatic rifle. Let's go test it out. So this aftermarket part is actually a bit weird because if you didn't know already, when the M16, the normal M16 without the aftermarket part is pack-a-punch, it already becomes fully automatic. So now we just get to start out with it being fully automatic. And so far, it don't look too bad. Like the recoil on it isn't bad at all. You just need to pull down slightly and you get a perfect spray pattern. Everything's landing in the same spot. But the M16 has already been one of the better weapons to use in zombies. And when I was looking through the stats on the new aftermarket part, it looks like it decreases damage and increases fire rate, recoil control, and some other things. But I'm a little concerned that this isn't going to be as good as the normal M16. I was doing against some tier one zombies real quick. Obviously, tearing them up. Let's go grab this ATV and see how it's doing in tier two. It's been a while since we tested out some weapons unpack a punched and unupgraded in other zones. Looks like I can still kill here in tier two. That's a good sign. It takes a little bit to get through armor, but you know, there's a whole lot of guns that do. So far, not terrible. And finally, how are we doing against a fully armored tier three zombie? Not doing a whole lot. I don't think we can even break its armor, at least not right now. At least the zombies are ignoring me. This is the perfect time for this glitch to happen. We finally broke his armor after a full mag. Oh, and it's doing a little bit of damage. And it's probably going to take the rest of our ammo to kill him, but it's actually doing noticeable damage without any upgrades. So let's go ahead and upgrade it, get it to pack three, get it to legendary. The fire rate or firing range or whatever you want to call it, it doesn't go to burst when pack a punch, which is what I was thinking it might do be hilarious if they swap if they swapped it up with the aftermarket part but still fully automatic when packed and looks like it kills pretty quick well let's pop some perks and go test us against some bounties how are we doing against you mimic so far so good took down his health very fast and we got a little bit of stuff for it let's do like one or two more of those so we can afford the rest of our perks and then we'll make our way into tier three now we got a mangler how are we doing against your armor broken immediately and he's dead basically immediately. If I would have landed every shot on his head there, would have been a lot faster. So far, this is looking pretty good. I mean, we are a little bit like overpowered for tier two, but usually you can tell it's damage on some tier two bounties pretty easily. And it's not looking to disappoint right now. And 13,000, I think that'll about cover the perks we need. Let's go ahead and hop into tier three, see if we can get our hands on a contract. How are we doing against some tier three zombies now against like a decent horde of them? Still haven't used our MAGA holding yet because I want to test this against a boss over here. See how the reload affects it. And looks like we can take out these zombies pretty easily. I don't know if the, the whole damage nerf to it is really that effective because the fire rate on it seems to cover it. What do you think, Mangler? You don't got time to think. Let's scoop up the rest of our perks. And we have an Outlast contract right here. Let's pick this up and see how we do against uh, unrelenting horde of zombies. Oh shit. You know what? We might have to test it out a little early. We're pinned in this room, but it looks like they really can't get in. A little Aether Shroud on them too. It handled them. Took them out pretty quick too. Oh, I had to say something. I got caught looting. Caught with my pants down. Let's start this bad boy up. It's looking like this can handle basically any zombie horde, even without Maggle holding. You just gotta take a step back, reload, and keep going. The reload isn't too slow either. Even with the largest mag I have equipped so we can have the highest ammo capacity. Looks like it reloads pretty fast. So far, it's looking like this might be just as good, if not a little bit better than the M16 pack a punch without the aftermarket part. Oh, and they got us a Scorcher. How nice of them. They really should just up the drop rate for those for anybody here in tier three. It's basically a requirement to get any contracts done. And since I'm not seeing any tier three bounties right now, let's go uh, pay a visit to the Stormcaller. You still alive, Stormcaller? You already been taken out? Looks like there's a decent amount of zombies here. He should still be around. Huh. Maybe not. Seems rare these days that the Stormcaller is here after the first five minutes of the game. Yeah, he's toast. He's nowhere to be found. Back to tier three, I guess. And we got a good chance at getting this bounty here. Give me that. And give me an abomination, please. Let's go. It's weird. I feel like it's easier to get an HVT abomination now than it is just to fight a normal one. The normal ones don't usually spawn for me anymore. How's this doing against you? Why don't you come over here and fight me? So far, not really any damage, but we haven't shot him in the glowing mouth seems to be avoiding that like he's avoiding eye contact might be a bit on the spectrum there we go but we broke a face about to break another one 
Actually, the damage on this is pretty nice once we can actually hit his crit point. Has he figured out that we're here yet? Nope. All right. That's on you, pal. Can we get a second face broken? It almost seems like a bit harder to take him down if he's not shooting his laser. Well, there's not much we can do if he's uh, blind. Actually, does he even have eyes? Do you have eyes? I don't think so. It just smells. You can smell my Gucci cologne. We already got two faces down, and he just keeps turning away from me. Oh, wait. Now we got a laser. Let's go. Let's get some nice damage in on this. We're out of ammo. Awesome. If only some zombies would spawn over here. Okay. I have an issue here. I brought in mollies and gas grenades instead of my usual throwing knives and decoys because I wanted to try them out with the deadbolt detonator since you guys have been recommending it. And now I don't have a way to kill these zombies because I am fully out of ammo. I guess I have my scorcher. I don't know what I'm thinking. Let me just do this. There's some ammo. Might need a wee bit more. And this will have to be good enough. He doesn't have that much health. Maybe he'll just shoot another laser at us. Go for it. There we go. That's what we like to see, buddy. It was nice playing with you. And you didn't really give us anything good. All right. Well, since we've taken down an abomination, let's go ahead and use our mag of holding. And I'm going to throw on this napalm burst. And throw on our dead wire detonators. Now you can really see what this thing's made of. How much ammo do we have in total when using this? 1,020 bullets. That's a very good number to have. I'm pretty sure that's the exact same as our normal M16 without the aftermarket part. Let's go take this for a spin against another bounty. And it's another abomination. Let's go. That's what I want to see. Oh, wait, there's a normal abomination here. We'll come back for you. You, you stay put. I want to see how much faster we can take this guy down without having to reload. What's going on, dude? Yeah, shoot that laser. Let's go for the middle face. Damage going down fast. Napalm burst helping out. This thing's a monster. I thought this aftermarket part was going to make it worse. I don't know how you improve the M16. It was already, like, pretty good. Especially since this aftermarket part literally just gave it its pack-a-punch ability, like, early. Because we already got this thing down to half health. And we still got 600 bullets to spare. Make that 800. We just need this guy to open his mouth. There we go. Nope. He's biting at me. Stop it. Bad. There we go. This should do it. If we can land all these shots, he should be gone. Let's go. That was pretty fast. I'll take that all day. And this abomination didn't listen to us. Oh, wait. No, he was just hiding. How fast can we take down a normal one? Why is this one ignoring me too? Why are all the zombies ignoring me? This has been such a thing recently. Now we got him shooting his laser. A face should explode immediately. Let's go. We don't even need to test this on you. I already know this is going to take you out pretty fast. I'm hunting you for sport. I'm doing it for the thrill of it. Look at that. Already down to half health. Two heads gone. With no effort. And this should be your last laser you ever shoot. Look how fast his health is going down. Night, night, buddy. Drop anything good for me, though? Of course not. When ha have they ever... And you know what? Since I got some zombies right here, does this gas grenade do anything now? Yeah, it activates our, our dead wire detonators immediately. It's actually so much better with equipment, it looks like. Because the second it came out, I'm like, oh, what explosive weapons would be good with dead wire detonators? Turns out it's just your normal, everyday lethals and tacticals. And if there's no contracts around for me to do, I'm just going to keep killing these guys. Because why not? Night, night. That's another one down. We're just cleaning these guys up. I guess I'll just do as many of these contracts as I can until the storm starts moving. Then we'll bring this into the Dark Aether and try to fight the boss there. But at least this time it's a Mimic and not a Mega Abomination. I guess they are tired of me kicking their ass. Does the Mimic put up a better fight? Uh, actually, kinda. It looks like it. Wait, does this affect a HVT Mimic? Do HVTs not get affected by Deadwire? He's like completely avoiding the fire. He's too smart. Oh wait, no, he's at half health now. Yeah, I don't think he's putting up more of a fight. Just a little bit faster. See you later, buddy. Oh, wait. Hold on. Got to keep moving. Now you should be dead. Ooh, and a legendary crystal. I'll take that. Actually, I don't even know what we're gaining from doing these contracts. I'll do one more, and then we're going right to the Dark Aether. And it's another abomination. He just wants to get his ass kicked one more time. All right, buddy. I can help you with that. You can have that arranged. And it won't take long either. Holy shit, I feel like I'm killing him faster and faster every time. Night, night. That literally took like a minute, maybe. All right, Dark Aether, here we come. And this time around, let's do this in a bit of a different order. Because if I'm going to get fucked, let's uh, wait till the end of the day, huh? Because every time I start out with this escort mission over here, something ends up happening with a Mimic. So uh, let's go do the Outlast one first. Even though I have been fucked by a Mimic over here too. But it, it, was, it was less painful, I guess. And the power-up from this one might help me out with the escort anyways. 
But I think this gun is like overqualified for the Dark Aether. So give me that. Let's start this up. And let's get it done. Let's also throw a gas grenade because these zombies won't get off my dick. And I don't think I should be coughing when I have a full on gas mask and my own gas grenade, but it's whatever. Just a little like continuity error. Nothing big. Or some mollies too. This is actually too easy. Deadwire detonators are so busted. I'm glad this works with lethals and tacticals. I wasn't even thinking about lethals and tacticals when they came out. I thought they might, just might be useless. Oh, is that Shatter Blast? You know what? Let's use that. Does Shatter Blast activate it? So we get double the like ammo mod activation when it goes off. That's actually kind of nutty. Big if true. And we just keep picking up mollies. So let's just keep throwing them. It's actually way too simple. And this should be the contract right here. That was so easy. I'm glad we did this one first. Let's throw a molly at our feet while we go through this. Another dead wire detonator. I will take that over... I guess a cashmere. Why not? Just one extra cashmere. We don't need it. Let's refill these. Honestly, I don't think we even need cashmeres with the way these are working. And let's just do the escort. I'm feeling confident. You will have to drop something though. Uh, let's drop two of these cashmeres. So I'm just going to throw them now. Call them now and laters. Get this activated and give me the atomic hunter after I do this. There we go. Hand it over. Let's start her up. Now, whenever I see a mimic, like right here, I just need to take a step back and not let them grab me. Let's also throw gas grenades at them. Pretty sure it'll do a little extra damage. You just really don't need to be grabbed by these bastards because something's wrong with them. They become evil. They'll either go inside my ACV or put me inside them. And I, I don't want either of those. I'd rather stay just where I'm at. But so far, so good. Let's throw a gas grenade down. And some mollies since we're right by a little ammo cache. Ooh, it does affect the elites. It's not HVTs. Mollies are actually so good for this. They have taken a good amount of health off of our ACV here. We're down to 60%. There's a nuke that we're looking for. Let's go to this ammo cache, refill. Keep moving. Oh, only 55% now, damn. Okay, we need to tighten up. That was bad. We went down from 80 to 50. Maybe the cashmere's are better for this. I'll just use our gas grenades and stuff on these elites. That should be able to get us our, our nukes a bit faster. So let's grab a cashmere. Let's throw it now. And let's try to get through this one without taking really any damage if we can. There's a full power and I don't know what the hell just happened. I went through the cashmere. I thought I got grabbed. And there's a nuke. Easy. Let's keep it moving. I always forget those cashmeres can actually teleport you. But so far, I feel like this M16 is like really punching above its weight class. We're shredding through zombies. We're terrorizing the Dark Aether. I don't really have a bad thing to say about this weapon. Unless we somehow fail this escort. Uh, actually, I won't say somehow. It's very possible we fail it. But if we fail it, I'm blaming it on the gun. Come on, Disciple. Drop that nuke. I know you want to. There you go. Perfect timing. We finished that one. We're on to our last. Only a little bit more to go. Uh, we're going to have to cashmere right here. It's all right, because I got two more. Only 27%. These manglers never want to play by the rules. They always look like they got nukes in them, but don't drop them. We got two cashmeres. I think we're, we got it. We should not fail this. I'm throwing one in front, one in the back. And I just saw Shatter Blast activate, and it did hit all these zombies for Deadwire. Why are they still trying to fight me? They're like, it's like both cashmeres are pulling in both directions. Okay, gas grenades going out now. Throwing them in the front and back as well. That should insta-kill everything. And as long as we keep the elites back, we should be fine. Oh, 14%, 14%. Stay away. Throwing a molly on it. Come on, give me that nuke, perfect. And we made it through, I'm pretty sure. Launch. Let's go. What do we get for it? Nothing really. That's fine. I'm pretty sure I saw a cashmere on the ground here. I will be taking that. And we're on to our last contract. These are actually so clutch now. These are the best tacticals in the game. I might even use them over decoys in the future. Unless I can't activate this seal. There we go. Uh, I will take... Let's just lose the self-revive. Because we're going to use one up anyways. That was all planned. I did that on purpose. Right, let's use our last cashmere. Keep the zombies away. And we can take this bastard out. He's not different from any of the other abominations we already fought. He might have slightly more health here in the Dark Aether, but ain't a problem for us. Because we already got one face gone, about to have two. Once he decides to open up for us, let's throw a quick gas grenade, keep everybody away. And we'll go down, just as planned. You know, we just need more inventory space. 
Oh, there's mollies on the ground too. Might as well throw those. The dude is not opening his mouth. All right, Aether Shroud. Let's get him a little less aggroed. Let's see if we can bait him into it. A little nuke too. Can't hurt. All right, now you're just being a dick. We actually might just take him out without blowing up another face. Or maybe just one more. Yeah, this should be it right here. Oh, no. Face broke. Damn it. I had to say something. Oh, we're so low health. But so is he. All right, toss a molly. Keep up the good fight. And he should be dead right here. Let's go. Everything in the vicinity dying, too. And we got really nothing for that. These rewards suck. Why am I getting a... A tombstone schematic here in the brand new Dark Aether. you think you'd already have that if you're doing the new Dark Aether. We got 18 minutes left in the game. That is plenty of time to fight this boss, hopefully. Let's knock on wood. Because some bullshit could happen. We gotta take out all these spores. First one gone. Second one. See you later. Third one. It was nice seeing you. And now we're on to the last. We're gonna throw a cashmere. Keep all these guys away from me. And let's get this boss spawning in. Shall we? There we go. I'm Aether Shrouding right off rip. See if we can destroy him. No healing. Hit a nuke. Are you going to spawn your boys in? Yep. Let's hit another nuke. Get some early damage in on his little buddies. Actually, does this work on them? I don't think so. It's doing good damage, but it didn't uh, really stop them how I thought. But I'm still going to keep using them. That's two. Stop healing. Knock it off. He broke his mask, and now we're doing crazy damage to him. Go ahead, spawn your other buddies in. Oh, we, we stopped him again. We already got him down to half health. All right, now he's spawning more guys. Let's go replenish. But if you can just stagger him, that's actually like crazy damage you can get on him. It stops him from spawning more dudes in. I wish this map would load in. That's what they should spawn in. So let's take this mangler down. Might as well throw a molly. Oh, has he been siphoning health off me this whole time? Uh-uh. We need to move. Okay. All right. You get one knock. He's going to grab me while I'm downed. Uh, better not have thrown me into some shit. Okay. We got it. There goes one. Let's Aether Shroud. This isn't one of them, but got to get him the fuck out of the way. This Mangler better drop this nuke. Bad. Bad. No. Oh, I get so scared anytime a Mimic grabs me. Where's this last dude? Oh, he followed me over to the ammo. Come on, Mangler. Who do you think you are? Time to go to sleep. And another nuke. Where's this dude at? He recovered a little bit of health, but that's fine. We can deal with it. You saw how much damage we did to him just a second ago. We can do a bit more. Let's hit him with a molly, too. And a gas grenade. He immediately spawned more people in. Dickhead. Let's see if we can just take them all out fast. That is a lot of elites. We need more of these. Keep throwing them. One of these guys is going to drop a nuke with a stun. There we go. That should be almost all of them. Got this Mimic to go. And he's sleep. Nice try, Mimic. Oh, here's our buddy. Let's try to stagger him before he can spawn more in. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Keep it up. And he is dead. Let's go. Damn. Damn. He's just invincible for so long. Oh, and now they dropped me dead wire. That would have helped kill me even faster. But last chance, Dark Aether. Give me something decent. Ah, an Elder Sigil. I'll take it. And some more dead wire detonators. Not terrible. At least we got our, our money back on these dead wire detonators. Jeez, there's 400 Hellhounds right here. What the fuck is going on? This is the most Hellhounds I've ever seen. Goddamn. It was like every spawn it put in here was a hellhound. Oh, now they're doing the same with Disciples? Uh-uh. All right, let's get out of here before they start spawning in Mimics. What's our final stats looking like? Did it split it up since we're in the Dark Aether? So I feel like we got a lot of kills and a lot of contracts done. This should give us some good time off our schematics. 41,000 points. Oh, yeah, it only says four contracts completed here, but we almost got 1,000 kills just in the Aether. We got two hours and 53 minutes off of our schematics. Not terrible. So overall review of the Jack Patriot on the M16. It's actually really good. I like it a lot, and I can see myself using this more. My go-to weapon recently has been like the FJX Horus or just using like the crossbow if I have some deadbolt detonators to spare. But I think I might start bringing the M16 in because it feels like a bit more fun to use. It can handle elites in any tier. It can handle zombies in any tier, and armor doesn't really seem 
seem to bother it too much. It was a little bit at first without our Pack-a-Punch, like aura upgrades. But after that, it was just flying through armor. Like when we were taking on those Manglers over in tier three, it was absolutely just destroying their armor in seconds. So this is definitely a good aftermarket part to use and I recommend trying it out. I don't know if it's absolutely better than the normal M16, but starting off on full auto is definitely a positive if you're not already spawning in with like a crystal to get to the full auto. But it didn't seem like there was a massive amount of damage fall off like the stats in the menu would tell you it does. It, it seemed pretty on par, to be honest. But I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.